हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज शायन एंड वेलकम टू माय बायोलॉजी क्लास टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ जेनेटिक्स थ्रू दिस वीडियो वी विल ट्राई टू नो ऑल द बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट्स ऑफ जेनेटिक्स एज वेल एज डिफरेंट टर्मिनोलॉजी एसोसिएटेड विद दिस टॉपिक दिस क्लियर कॉन्सेप्ट विल हेल्प अस टू नो द डिटेल्स ऑफ मेंडेलियन एंड पोस्ट मेंडेलियन जेनेटिक्स लेटर ऑन सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड Let's start with its definition. Genetics is a field of biology that studies how traits are passed from parents to their offspring. The passing of traits from parents to offspring is known as heredity. Therefore genetics is also known as the study of heredity. Thus this branch of biology genetics actually involves both these terms heredity and variation. and if you want to understand genetics better you need to know details about heredity and variation what is heredity heredity is the transmission of characteristics from parents to the offspring from the previous generation to the next generation and what is variation variation is the differences between characteristics between two individuals we all know that even siblings are different from each other thus these two terms are quite necessary to understand the basic concept of genetics now prior to move different terminology associated with genetics we need to know about the history of the genetics let's focus on the history who coined the term genetics genetics the term coined by scientist william bateson in the year of 1905 and different basic principles of genetics were discovered by scientist gregor johann mendel even long before the year 1905 he discovered different basic concept and principle of genetics in the year of 1866 but he was quite unlucky that his work remain unnoticed till the year of 1900 but as he is crowned as the discoverer of basic principle of genetics we all refer scientist mendel as the father of genetics father of genetics we will discuss detail about mendelism on our later class or later video now to get clear idea about genetics we should know about the definition of genes its exact location its nature of expression variations among them so let's move on those topics let's know about gene what is gene gene is a particular section of a dna that can produce any functional protein it is the basic unit of heredity prior to know details about gene we need to know about its location where the gene actually resides if we emphasis on any eukaryotic cell we know that it is the nucleus where we may find chromosomes so suppose this is a chromosome these are the arms of chromosome sister chromatids and suppose this darken region is a gene any gene is present on the chromosome actually genes are the portion of dna and the region of chromosome where any gene is reside is known as locus locus if we enlarge this segment we will actually have a long stretch of dna but this entire dna will not consist of the gene gene is only a portion of dna that is functional in nature so this portion suppose this stretch of dna is actually functional this is actually gene so what do you we mean actually by the term functional portion of dna functional means this portion of dna is enabled to produce protein via producing mrna this portion produce functional protein so this portion of dna is known as functional region of dna and any functional region of dna that is enabled to produce any functional proteins are known as genes so by this short stretch of diagram we actually know where the gene is located and how gene get expressed now if we want to know about different variations in genes we need to focus on something else we all know that 
both of our chromatids of any chromosome came from both of my parents respectively. Suppose this arm of chromosome has came from my father and this arm from my mother and if any gene is present both of its arm suppose this gene is A. So, A gene will be present on both of this arm which is derived from my father and mother respectively. But as it is derived from to different source from both of my parents these types of the genes may not be same. It may be of different variants or different types. Suppose this variant is referred as A1. So, this is the first variant of the gene A and this is the A2 gene or the same gene or, uh, with different variants. So, A1 and A2 are the same gene but are of different forms. These A1 and A2 forms are of the gene A. Thus, A1 and A2 are referred of alleles of gene A. So, what is allele? Alleles are the alternative forms of a gene which occur on the same locus on the homologous chromosome and control the expression of a character. So, you need to focus on this particular term alternative forms when you are going to write the definition about alleles. Now, alleles are of two types. Alleles are of two types. Dominant alleles and recessive alleles. What is dominant allele? How would you define dominant allele? Dominant alleles are those alleles those can express itself whether present in homozygous or heterozygous condition. What is homozygous or heterozygous condition? Suppose capital T represent the tallness in plant P plant and small t represent the dwarfness in P plant. So, if the capital T is dominant in nature, it will able to express itself both in this condition as well as in this condition too. So, here both the alleles are of dominant type represented as the capital T, but here both the alleles are not of same types. One is a capital T, another is of small t, but as a one single dominant allele is present in this heterozygous condition, the expression of this recessive small t allele gets suppressed. Thus, dominant allele can make itself express even in homozygous as well as in heterozygous condition. Now, let us focus on recessive allele. How could we define recessive allele? Recessive allele can express itself only in homozygous condition. So, it can be expressed only if both the alleles are of small t types. Thus, we can discriminate different types of alleles, dominant alleles and recessive alleles. We have already discussed the definition of gene, alleles, dominant alleles, recessive alleles, locus with some examples. And if you missed those things, just rewind the video and write down those definitions from the lectures. Now, let us know some other terminologies related to genetics. At first, we would discuss about genotype. What is genotype? It represents the genetic makeup of an organism with respect to one or more characters. So, what is genotype? Genotype is actually the genetic makeup of any organism which cannot be visible externally. Now, let us move to the phenotype. What is phenotype? Phenotype represents the external manifestation of any genotype of an organism. So, phenotype is the external manifestation that can be visualized from external source and phenotype helps us to know about the genetic constituent of any organism. Now, let us move to the other topic. Let us discuss about monohybrid cross and dihybrid cross. Monohybrid cross, it is a type of genetic cross where one allelic pair is considered in crossbreeding. So, monohybrid cross is a type of genetic cross where, where two individual are self bred depending on their single contrasting character. What is dihybrid cross? Dihybrid cross it is a type of genetic cross where two allelic pairs are considered in crossbreeding. So, it is also another type of genetic cross where two individual are self crossed 
they are differ from each other depending on two contrasting character that is the difference between monohybrid and dihybrid cross monohybrid in case of monohybrid cross we will consider a single pair of contrasting character in case of dihybrid cross we will consider two pair of contrasting character now let's know about multiple alleles we generally know any gene generally consist of two alleles but if any gene are found to bear different more than two alleles then those alleles are referred as multiple alleles to each other what is multiple alleles these are multiple alternative forms of a same gene which influence the same character but produce different traits in different individuals a very good example of multiple allele is our blood group our blood group or the gene responsible to produce our blood group in different human beings a good example of multiple alleles let us know about wild type this is also another very very important terminology used in genetics what is wild type the genotype or phenotype that is found predominantly in the nature or in any standard living stock for a given organism normally homozygous dominant ones belong to the wild type so wild type is that particular trait or that particular things that is predominantly present found more frequently in nature for any particular given organism now prior to end the video i also want to make one thing clear in your mind gene is responsible to express any character so we can write like this gene is responsible to produce any character on the other hand alleles are responsible to produce different traits under that character what is the difference between these two terms character and traits suppose you are taking an example of human color human eye color human eye color here eye color is the main character and we all know that human eye color are of different types are of black brown blue green etc so gene is responsible for producing eye color and it is the alleles the variants of those genes those are produce different traits in different human beings one allele is responsible for producing black eye another for brown blue etc so you need to make clear about this concept prior to move to the mendelian and post mendelian genetics so to clear the basic concept on genetics this much information is enough for us right now we will know various other things about genetics on our next genetic class if you like the video let us know by making your valuable comments on the comment box and don't forget to like share and subscribe our channel thank you